Hello there. In this episode, I will talk about MocoPod, the equipment that offers the closest experience to an espresso shot. A MocoPod or stovetop brewer made out of three main parts, bottom pot, filter basket, and top section. Bottom pot is the water source and in here water evaporates and creates high pressure. With the steam power, water rises to the filter basket and in here water meets with the grounded coffee. After that, coffee rises to the top section and becomes ready to drink. Most mocha pots are aluminium, but I recommend you to use stainless steel ones because aluminium is not very safe for human health. Contrary to popular belief, a mocha pot can't make an espresso. Because of the intense flavor and the espresso-like texture, people think they are the same. However, espresso is much more complex and hard way to brew a coffee. For instance, to take an espresso shot, you need 9 bars of pressure where mocha pot can only produce 1.5 bars of pressure. Moreover, because mocha pots are compact and durable, most hikers and campers take them to the wildlife. Now, I will demonstrate how to make a delicious cup of coffee with mocha pot. First, you need fresh ground coffee beans. Today, I am using Honduras origin coffee beans. And I will grind them fine. It should be as fine as table salt. Because this coffee will be more intense, we use 15 grams of ground coffee per 100 ml of water. Don't worry, you don't have to measure everything in this method because mocha pots have their own way to deal with it. For ground coffee, you just need to fill the filter basket. Don't tap, just level with your finger. For water, you fill the bottom pot up to safety level. Using hot water both save time and prevent ground coffee from burning. Now we seal it. Be careful, bottom is still hot. Therefore, use the cloth to screw down. While waiting, don't leave the oven. And also, while waiting, you can open the top to see what's going on inside. When you see the coffee rises, be ready to remove the pot. Whenever you see the bubbles, immediately remove it from the heat and pour into your serving cup. While you're drinking your delicious cup of coffee, let the pot cool down. Thank you for joining me in this episode. Next, we will brew coffee with a more traditional technique.